think we can finally do this Arkham Wing thing. I think that's what the checkpoint is. Let's go. Because we got the power on finally in the whole facility. Oh, here we go. Maximum security. I miss these red ones. They're more fun. There we go. And I was thinking that wasn't going to be it. What's so special about the Arkham Wing? What's it look like? Arkham Wing. Are we in Arkham Asylum now? I doubt it. Door to the cell blocks. Indeed. There's gotta be some stuff in here. Some secrets. Kind of miss the original Arkham seat. Let's put it back on. Heck yeah. The hostages are locked behind the massive vault door. Okay. Oh, thank God, I'm like, I hope it lets me just crawl inside. Hmm. The massive fans too quickly to pass through safely. Okay, let's fix that real quick. Oh, this is not even the mission. Red Sun, please. Oh, it's a good one too, but come on. Oh, I thought we were supposed to go down there. Very well then. There you go. There you go, indeed. What a weird little, like... Okay. I hate the camera angle so much, it's so hard to understand where I'm going. I have to do all that all over again! <laughs> okay. So I guess you're supposed to go to that door and not down that hole. Why does it make us drop down then? Oh, I see. Uh, I'm scared. There it is. Ah, oh, it's nine six one. Back to square one. Let's open this vault. Get the hostages out. It's over. 
Release the hostages. Who is it? Bane? Oh no, Catwoman. Oh my Thanks god. Into his cell. I probably could have done it myself, but why take chances? Am I right? There never were any hostages. This was all about Bane. What's she got with start. Bane? All the way back to you catching me on that rooftop. Sorry. Originally, the plan was for you to capture me so I could get into Blackgate and free him. But then you showed up here, so changes had to be made. Why would you want Bane freed? Believe me, I'd rather not go anywhere near that monster. I'm not suicidal. I just took this gig to pay off a debt. To who? Can't answer that, handsome. Employer confidentiality. As far as I'm concerned, I just have a package I'm supposed to pick up and deliver. Catwoman, if whoever wants Bane empowers him up again, do you know what will happen? How many people might be hurt or killed? So Bane deflated, huh? That's Maybe crazy. That questions like that. That's how I do my job and sleep at night. Right now, I need to take Bane out of here. You'll have to go through me. Uh -huh. We'll definitely try that sometime. Uh -huh. This time, you're going to just let me stroll on out of here. Is that right? Yeah. Funny thing about Black Mask, when he's got a grudge, he'll work with anybody. He gave me overrides for some of the electrical junction boxes and showed me how to set them up to cause a big power surge that can blow up the whole prison. So I did. How could you? We can stay here and chat all day or you can get moving. Since the bombs have timers on them, I know which one I'd suggest. This isn't over. I sure hope not. All right, wow. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. So Catwoman frees Bane, huh? I need to find those junction boxes before they surge and take out all of Blackgate. Jesus. Note from Catwoman. Dear Batman, just show you just to show you I'm not all bad, I'll point you to the first set of overload switches. Love Catwoman. Aw, she's sweet. Open map to view the location of the next objective. Thanks for letting me open the Come door, on, fellas. Bring it. Oh, wait, I think we can get it now. We don't need to turn the power back on. We just have to do this thing, don't we? There we go. Aha! Easy. Red Sun, please. I want to get it so bad. Ah, okay. Blackest Night again, that's so good. Oh, I guess this is one of the bombs. I don't even know. While well, grabbing that last little equipment thing. And so we're going to do this. Okay. Then we're going to do this. And then... We're gonna do this. Alright, that's one of five bombs disarmed. Sweet. Oh, we can open it. Is that how we get more gear? Note from Catwoman acquired. Batman. You're some detective. See if you can hunt these. Uh, hunt this one down. Handsome. <laughs> Love Catwoman. Okay. So it's one that leads to the next, I guess, type of thing. All right, let's try something here. There it is. <clears throat> there we go. Odd assemblage of metal pipes. One more and we're done with the Joker is wild. Like, how would I have ever found it? <laughs> it's so tiny. Henderson IOU. Uh, the bidding war about to be finished. Nice. Like, bro, look at this one. <laughs> uh, personal journal. About to finish doctor's orders. Cool. Here we are. 
Movement right here should be classering. All right. Cool. Three out of four. About to finish kidnapped. Okay, we found another one of those bombs. Uh, probably should have looked around for the things before I started doing this. Okay, a minute and 17 seconds. Here's one. Uh, I don't know how far these go. Okay, not that far. I could just follow the pipe thing. There's one. There's three. Okay. It's going to be kind of tough to do, but we can do it. Here. Boom. Two out of five bombs disarmed. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's see what we get inside. Probably just another upgrade. I'd be surprised if we get cosmetics. Okay, just a note. Note from Catwoman acquired. Batman, you're some detective. See if you can hunt this one down, handsome. Love Catwoman. Did you see that last time? Is she copy and pasting now? Let's try to figure this out real quick. How do we get above the pipe? That's the real question. Ah, uh, that is tricky. Very tricky, wow. You can only scan it once you're on this side. Alright, business card. About to finish that one, nice. Information gathering. I guess I missed something over here, which I'm surprised. I usually scan around these areas. Maybe I died after scanning it. A hand-drawn map of administration. We have completed our second Case clue, kidnapped, sweet. All right, case file three, kidnapped. So we got a uh, assistant warden. The assistant warden killed by bullet to the forehead. Yikes. Powder burns, angle of entry, and aberrations on the pants indicate he was kneeling when executed. Horrible. Hand drawn map, a map of the administration building and cross section from the sewers up. Labels match the handwriting of the assistant warden. A strip detailing part of the warden's office has been torn away. A West Point graduation ring. The face of the ring is scuffed. And trapped between the embossed letters are flakes of clown white skin. Glass eye. A glass eye showing signs of uneven scratching as though it had fallen to the floor after being knocked loose. Three months ago, the warden was fitted with a glass eye. This may be his. So let's take a look at the kidnap case file overall. After escaping confinement, the Joker sought out the assistant warden and cornered him. The Joker forced the man to draw a map of the administration building, specifically focusing on Warden Joseph's office. He devised the best way to surprise and capture the warden. Joseph, a graduate of West Point, was not taken willingly. They traded punches, and the warden's glass eye was knocked out. Wow. So he went down in a fight. Case closed. So apparently... This is right here. Yes, I'm using videos to help me figure these out, but it's not like it's anything crazy. It's just the stupid... You know, what matters to me is that I actually do them. It's not so much about finding them. Like, I'll look up how to get to a puzzle, but I want to do it on my own. I don't want to like watch the video. That's just dumb to me. Like, lame. Like, I didn't know how to do this. It's just I, I like doing that though. I like figuring that out. All right, spray food cans. The Joker is wild. Case closed. Case solved. All right, the Joker is wild, let's check it out. Gas mask, gas mask used by law enforcement personnel in the event of a chemical attack. The filter shows trace levels of primitive form of Joker gas. Empty cans, spray food cans from the prison cafeteria supply. These cans are empty of both their edible contents and the aerosol gas that allows them to be sprayed. Metal pipes, plumbing and ventilation pipes held together with duct tape. Pieces of cloth fit between the pipes. And finally, dead guard. Looks creepy, looks like something from the Dark Knight. A dead guard with a rictus grin, similar to several others in the area. The grin indicates that he was exposed to Joker gas. Here is the Joker is wild case file. Before the explosion rocked Blackgate, the Joker was enacting a plan of his own. He stole spray food cans from the prison kitchen during work hours and separated nitrous oxide, a key component of Joker gas, from the cans, other contents using a filtering device made from pipes and cloth. He took advantage of the post-explosion confusion to procure a gas mask, then made his way to the administration building where he gassed as many guards as he could. Alright, we've got something over here. I haven't looked at what it is yet. I just know this is the location. Uh, can we do this? This is it. I think I tried to get up here earlier, but I like didn't know how to yet. I didn't have this unlocked. Oh, cool. Please be red sun. I'm tired of wearing this Batman. Black is night cow found. Wait, what? It says I unlocked the zombie suit as an achievement. Is that the same thing or did I unlock two suits at once? Okay, the blackest night is a zombie suit. Oh my god. 
Hell yeah. It's the same one from Origins 2, I'm pretty sure. I bet they all are. That's sick. Uh, recordable DVD. And just like that, another one down, baby, let's go! Alright, here we go. Starting with Thumb Drive. A thumb drive containing Blackie conducted psychological evaluations of several inmates, including Bronze Tiger A. This information must have been copied from the prison computer mainframe. DVD. A DVD containing a prison surveillance footage of inmate Floyd Lawton, aka Deadshot. Let's go. A piece of burnt paper that appears to be from an incarceration history of Werner Vertigo, aka the supervillain Count Vertigo. Is he the one that was in the Flash show? A business card. It's off white with a telephone number centered and embossed in black. Is this the Suicide Squad? one that amanda waller is that the card that she gave deathstroke because these seem like a suicide squad thing i mean bronze tiger deadshot possibly deathstroke and then vertigo uh information gathering one or several inmates it would appear have been gathering information on certain blackgate prisoners for someone outside the prison walls could it be uh could it be waller someone in the metropolis area code judging by the phone number on the business card which the back computer confirms corresponds to a pay telephone there what does that mean the fact that count vertigo's background sheet was burned and then discarded would indicate that he was deemed unsuitable so that's why he's not in the suicide squad it is unknown if any other information was transmitted from prison to outside party, but clearly the prisoners represented here are of great interest to someone. It's gotta be Waller, come on. Wait a second. It's saying it's below us? I might have an idea where it's at. So we're gonna go ahead and go down here. Booyah. Red Sun. I don't want Red Sun anymore because I already have a new suit. Okay, good. <laughs> like, I want to rock this now. Like, come on, y'all playing with me. All right, so let's do what we can do with the cell block secrets. We got one right down here that I totally flew past. You wouldn't think you'd be able to jump down right here, but you can. All right, clipboard. That's halfway done for Birds of Prey. So apparently we have one right here that I missed. Look at that. Wow. Electrical wiring. That is the first of our case for cell block birdcage okay i remember literally talking about how there's got to be something in here because of how weird of a passway passageway was and i remember actually scanning it but i missed it like um scanning the area but this right here i guess we had to be up in front of it for it to re like uh be acknowledged mirror shard all right almost done with cell block birdcage uh oh looks like we found another uh box over here not sure where it's she's rigged up to but it should be nearby so there's one right there let's let's lay out the, the land here so we got a is this something right here a clue oh it is how did i miss this uh broken security camera oh cool we just finished the case let's uh, review real quick all right cell block bird cage broken security camera pieces of a wall mounted black security camera which looked over the cell blocks common area where prisoners congregated and offered a view of multiple cell doors the remains of other security cameras can be seen throughout the cell blocks mirror shard a shard of a bathroom mirror its surface is uneven particularly at the center as though a strong beam had been focused there for a long period of time finally electrical wiring strands of cords and wires ripped from power boxes forced open throughout the cell blocks interesting what does this mean we'll see chaos erupted in Blackgate after the explosion, the penguin acted swiftly. First, he disabled the observation cameras and cell blocks. Okay, so that was him. Next, he used broken bathroom mirrors to redirect the laser sensors that protected the emergency weapons locker so he could surreptitiously arm his men. Finally, he ordered electrical wiring placed across all doorways. The first wave of guards received a powerful jolt that knocked them unconscious. The penguin used them as human shields to repel further attacks. So the penguin's pretty smart, at least in the Arkham series. Now about this little, uh present we have here no i didn't mean to click on it okay we're screwed let's do this one up here first oh my god how far is it was this always open Okay, that's one down. Then let's go over here real quick. I think we have time to scan this because I do want to scan it. So let's see if it does anything. 
Oh, it'll explode when fully charged. Our bomb receives power from three nearby switches. Three. I only went for one. Crap. And I just wasted time doing it. One. Okay. It's gotta be in here. There she is. And we got time to spare. What are we worried about? Heck yeah. Let's see what we get. Note from Catwoman acquired. Batman, you keep chasing me like this, and I'm bound to get the wrong idea. <laughs> Hustle this location, sweetheart. Catwoman. I'm not even looking at the locations. I'm just <laughs> trying to figure out where all these secrets are. Speaking of, there should be one in here that I missed, so let's check it out. You're telling me it's this right here? I would have never found this in a million years. It's just like rubble. Oh, it's literally called rubble. <laughs> Alright, ground zero complete, rubble fragments. Okay, ground zero, let's check her out. Needle nose pliers. The burned and partially melted remains of needle nose jewelry pliers. Tool marks indicate that they were handmade. Chunk of curved metal. A piece of a bracelet whose hollowed interior contains the residue of a powerful explosive material. Scratches on it are consistent with manipulation by precision tools. DNA material found on the metal matches that of the villain known as Toy Man. Hmm, I don't even know much about him. And finally, rubble fragments. Rubble fragments composed of the specialized polymers and other materials used to make black ace cells. Scoring on these fragments suggests they came from near the source of an explosion. So what does this mean for ground zero? An explosive bracelet was smuggled in the black gate and affixed to the toy man's wrist. He was most likely being coerced into some action by a party outside the prison. The toy man decided to risk removing the bracelet using specialized tools he fabricated for the job. In doing so, he triggered the bomb in the bracelet, setting off a massive explosion that not only killed him, but did considerable damage to the prison. This has got to be some DEO Suicide Squad stuff, or there's like something else crazy going on. Well, you heard it here first, fellas. Toy Man is dead in the Arkham series. So apparently there's like a secret room as you fall down. There it is. You passed it. It's not this room, but it's the one above it. And we couldn't go back up because we didn't have the zip line before. And I hope we can still go up now. Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. There it is. Wow, look how hidden this is. Come on. This is some next level stuff. Well, that's birds of prey. One more needed. How do I do this? Oh, no way that actually works. Hold on. Mike, are they going to make me run all the way around? Thank you. Thank you so much for like realizing that. Oh my god. I got to go all the way back around for that. Just so I could call the elevator up. All right, is it this right here? There we go. Damage keypad, and we have completed Birds of Prey. So I'm assuming this is gonna be our Harley Quinn thing because she kind of became Harley Quinn at the end-ish, kind of. Maybe this sets up how she becomes Harley Quinn in Arkham Asylum, or this could be like Black Canary or something. I don't know, we'll see. All right, Bird of Prey, maintenance torch, an acid lend torch, half empty and still warm. Indications it has been used relatively recently. It bears a logo of Gotham HVAC Supply and Repair, a company subcontracted to do maintenance work in the Black Gate. Damage keypad, a keypad similar to others securing Black its weapon lockers. It has been ripped from the wall and left here, and scorch marks around its edges indicate it was heated beforehand to perhaps make it easier to pry loose. Prison clipboard. A clipboard holding several sheets of paper detailing the rotation schedules of Black Ace guards. Small spade. A small, easy to conceal garden tool with a worn blade and encrusted with old dirt. The soil samples match the ground on which Blackgate sits. Who's the bird of prey? The penguin's been planning an escape for some time. Oh, that's lame. Really, he's the bird of prey? That's such a tease. His men have been digging tunnels with small spades avoiding the guards using a schedule of their shift changes. The Blackgate explosion, however, allowed him an unforeseen opportunity to speed up his escape. He went immediately for the weapons locker and the sublock area. Using a torch from a maintenance crew, he loosens it to keep bad, and then a spade to pry it loose. He armed his men and decided to force his way out of Blackgate. Okay, so I walked past this a dozen times. It should be... Yeah, I can't even see that. A life on the line complete. Alright, here's a life on the line. Let's do it. Noose. A length of rope. Tied into a noose. Partially dried flecks of blood dot the loop. 
and the rope is roughly severed at the end. Guards uniform, a standard issue guards uniform shirt with evenly spaced tears along the collar as though it had been simultaneously slashed with multiple blades. Damaged door, a door to a guard station. The pattern of dents suggests it was damaged and forced by multiple attackers. Dang. Prisoner slipper, a standard issue prisoner slipper. The name Turner written in marker on the strap. Cut pipe, a piece of plumbing piping similar to the pipes that run overhead in many of the prison's corridors. It appears to have been sliced at the end by a particularly sharp blade. So who was this? A life on the line case file. In the frenzy after the explosion that shook Blackgate, a mob of bloodthirsty prisoners descended on a guard station, forced open the door, and seized the man within. Wrapping a noose around his neck, they began to hang him from an overhead pipe, but Bronze Tiger, dang, real name Ben Turner, arrived on the scene and having retrieved his claw gloves, waded into the fray. He sliced through the pipe and cut the guard free of the noose. The sheer number of prisoners proved too much for Bronze Tiger to fend off, and he was subdued and captured. So that's why he was in the fighting ring, I guess. This is one of the best case files we've read. I love Bronze Tigers. That's so cool. All right, cell blocks have been completely explored. That's everything with the cell blocks. We're done with them, I believe. Yes. All right, here is our final bomb, hopefully, for the cell blocks. Two and a half minutes. That's a long time. Let's see if we can do it. All right, we need to go across it's saying, right? Oh, we have one right here. Good thing I didn't fly yet. Okay. So we gotta go over here. Oh, one over here too. Oh man, okay. Let's go ahead and grab this one first real quick. I feel like this is a lot of time to do this. Oh, oops. Okay. Good thing they don't all explode at once. I love this glue gun. I wish they added it into the other Arkham games. I don't think they're in the rest. They're definitely not in Origins, right? Is it? No, I don't think so. Maybe it is. I don't know. I can't remember now. Okay, so now we need to do this. Boom, come on. This should have given us like a minute and a half. Sweet. Let's see what we get. No from Catwoman acquired Batman. You keep chasing me like this and I'm bound to get the wrong idea. Hustle to locations we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We said this before. All right. I saw this a while ago, but I never really explored it. Was that we can zip line up here. And, uh, is it right here? There it is. All right. The fan is inactive and old held in place by a single rusty bullet. Could easily be pulled out of place. Sure thing. Bye. Let's see what we got. Okay. I guess we can go this way. Oh, it's a lot longer than I thought it'd be. Uh, there's something right here? Alright, yeah. Pile of crumpled papers. I'm about to finish power play case file. Cool. He dropped down right here? Bro, what the heck? Oh. Okay. Hey, look at this little hole. Rubber hose and a pool of fluid. All right, about to finish breakout break in. How do I get out of here? Oh. Interesting, that's where that went. I was trying to figure out, I'm like, why is there just a little trap door that goes nowhere? Okay, there we go. There we go. It's a tough one. Crowbar. Breakout breaking completed. Here's breakout breaking case. Hydraulic fluid hose. A pool of hydraulic fluid and part of a hose. Hydraulic fluid is commonly found in prisons where it is used to help power the movement of heavy equipment such as doors. Small handmade device. A device assembled using common prison shop parts about the size of a fist. When activated, 
it can charge or override the signal sent from one device or system to another. Scuffed crowbar. A standard crowbar, slightly bent and scuffed at both ends as though recently used against strong metal. Breakout break-in case. Once the riot started, lockdown security protocols were initiated to seal off the prison's power plant. However, Black Mask and his men severed key hydraulic fluid cables, keeping many doors leading to the plant open. They pried other doors open with a crowbar and used the same crowbar to smash open a weapons locker. Then with a homemade frequency modulator, they overrode the electronic signal that locked the final security doors to the power plant and made their way inside, crushing any resistance. Now the same as a scan over here, which sucks because I like I remember searching right here, or at least trying to. Circus Flyer. Alright, our final case is uncovered. No way I missed this. I must have died after scanning this. Really? I missed this? Final stand, bullet casings, almost finished. I remember coming in here and explicitly searching for something, but I couldn't find it. I don't know how I miss these things. Maybe I'm too far away when I'm searching. Like, let me try to switch it from here. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. It's like, yeah, okay. Wallet photo. That concludes power play case. Tablet computer, a small computer of a type common among prison department heads. This one evidently belonged to the director of plant operations as prominent among its files are schematics for Black Gate's power grid. Photo, a picture of a woman matching the description of Black Mask's girlfriend. Yeah, the girl that was her name, Tiffany? The one that was like hung in the white dress, is that her? Dental instruments, various tools of the type used by a prison dentist. These tools are precise, metallic, and very sharp. Crumpled papers, dated slips of paper each with different handwriting. Together they document the movement of the Joker throughout Blackgate over a period of several weeks. Power play, nursing a deep hatred, Black Mask has been plotting the death of the Joker. I mean, he did kill his girlfriend, huh? Or force him to. While having his men track the Joker's movement around Blackgate to get a sense of his routine, Black Mask gathered a set of dental tools, apparently planning to torture his target by ruining his legendary smile. The explosion offered the perfect opportunity for Black Mask to get close to the Joker. He stole the director of plant operations tablet computer and made for the industrial area to manipulate the prison's power and flush the Joker out. Wow. It's cool how they go over these little plot details like that from the, the Origins game. All right, back to where we defeated Black Mask. I missed this thing right here. Gold coins. That completes the bidding war. Bearer bonds. Common issue bearer bonds for $10,000 each, evidently smuggled into the prison. They bear the fingerprints of the penguin, of course. Gold coins. A handful of Kruggerans, evidently smuggled into the prison. They bear the fingerprints of Black Mask. Handwritten IOU. 11 t billion dollars j chaotic lettering written in blood with a fingertip promised to bear 11 t billion dollars is signed with the capital letter j wow and dead shot i suppose homemade paper target blackgate prison shooting range a hand-drawn firing range target it has multiple holes in it though their size and shape indicate they were made by small projectiles such as pebbles not bullets the holes spell out fl floyd laden the initials of several blackgate inmates most notably floyd laden aka deadshot that's so sick the bidding war each of the three kingpins that took charge of Blackgate recognized that Deadshot would make a valuable ally. Each in turn made his pitch to Deadshot, who shrewdly accepted all offers, but he wasn't really interested in their money. What he wanted was the freedom to move about the prison, and the ability to play one side against another when it worked to his advantage. Like the stuff these people find, it's crazy. I never in a million years find this right here. No man, up top. All right, probably this right here. Yes, sir. Cell phone. That completes final stand. Dropping them like flies. Cell phone. A cell phone for personal use in standby mode. The last outgoing call is still present in the device's RAM. In the call, a guard bids farewell to his wife. Gunfire can be heard in the background. Oh, that's sad. Shell casings. Spent shells from prison-issued weapons. Indication of a recent firefight. Severed thumb. Ew. An adult male thumb indelicately and hurriedly cut from his host hand. Its proximity to a control panel indicates it may have been taken for its thumbprint, as many controls in this area have biometric locks. Final stand. As Black Mask laid siege to the power plant, a single guard barricaded himself near the master turbine control and attempted to ward off the villain and his men. He held out as best as he could, but knew that he wasn't going to last forever. He made a final phone call to his wife to say goodbye before he was eventually overrun and murdered. Black Mask then severed the guard's thumb and used it to open the biometric locks on the plant's control system. Rips, rip, 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 rest in peace. All right, let's do this real quick. First one is over here. I mean, technically, couldn't I do them before they start? It's probably the smartest thing to do. 
but whatever. I'm basically completing this game in like a sitting and a half. I will finish this soon. Uh, I don't know where that second one goes. Wait. Uh, okay. Can we go in here? No, we can't. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna scan this. Extra luck, of course. Hey, detective case solved. Uh, six feet under. Let's continue, shall we? Alrighty. Here's the second one. And our last one is above us. Can we do this, please? Thank God. Drop, please. Okay. There we go. Got this. And we got a case file closed midway. That's how we do it out here. Uh, okay. There we go. All right, Catwoman, your turn. She'll probably have. Hey, dodge. there we go. That's all the boxes disarmed. Batman, here we are. Pile of human bones. Now six feet under it is closed. 60 feet under, not 6 feet. Skeletal remains. Skeletons with missing skulls. Damage to the C1 vertebrae suggests the heads were torn off. The skeletons show varying levels of decomposition from several weeks to several years. Many of them are clothed in the tattered remains of prison coveralls. Is this Killer Croc or Solomon Grundy maybe? Plant matter. Small samples of moss and lichen. These organisms are not native to the sewers but grow outdoors where there is sunlight in wet or marshy areas. Swamp thing? Circus flyer. A faded and water damaged sheet of paper promoting the arrival in Gotham of a traveling circus and its albino no strongman. The flyer is several decades old. Solomon Grundy or what? 60 feet under case file. The sewers have been a popular option for attempted prison escapes over the decades. Evidence indicates many inmates cross paths with Solomon Grundy. Grundy, an undead monstrosity, is normally a denizen of Slaughter Swamp, but this area must be a favorite retreat of his when weather gets inhospitable or when he needs to hide out. It seems Grundy favors tearing off and crushing would-be escapees heads. Okay, so does Grundy. All right, Catwoman, your turn. She'll probably head for the docks. Probably. That means we're finally gonna be playing outside of the prison, or is this like gonna just be a cutscene? Yes, go forward, Batman. How do I move forward these days? Oh my god, so complicated. There we go. I guess left stick is forward. One million bell found. We got a new bat suit. Dear Batman, I'm not bad, just doing what I've got to do. To show there's no hard feelings, I want you to have this. Maybe you can try it on for me some night. Oh, <laughs> yours, Catwoman. Oh, she bad. Nice. Let's go. Thanks, Catwoman. Still haven't figured out how to get this over yet. Oh, I didn't know I could scan this. There we go. Figure this one out on my own. Yay. Oh yeah, I bet it's going to be red sun right when I got this one. Okay, armor upgrade. We got all armor upgrades complete. Let's go. Alright, this one, long overdue. Let's grab it real quick. It's a tough one. You wouldn't think it's something right here. And we get... New 52 boots, let's go. All right, couldn't figure this one out for the life of me. And it's because we don't have to be closer to do this. Duh, what would I think of that? And there we go, all rush upgrades acquired. Okay, should be right there, yep. Ah, completed all detective cases, yes. 
achieve and complete. Doctor's orders. Personal journal. A personal journal the size of a paperback with a strap across its face and a small lock securing the pages inside. Personnel file. A manila folder with the employment history and supervisory notes for Dr. Harleen Quinzel. The most recent note is a disciplinary one. Criticizing the doctor for attempting to deliver contraband to the Joker. A can of spray cheese from the cafeteria. Tiny key. A miniature metal key of a size and make commonly associated with diary locks. Doctor's orders. Psychiatrist Harleen Quinzel is a relatively new staff member at Blackgate. Her personnel file details an increasing schedule of visits and sessions with one inmate, the Joker, culminating in an attempt to smuggle a can of spray cheese into his cell. An incident, the file notes with alarm that could indicate the Joker taking psychological control of the young doctor. Her personal journal also reveals a growing obsession with the Joker, whom she initially refers to as patient arc 119805 but later begins calling mr j with hearts drawn around the words oh boy well there you have it folks that's all detective cases complete we did it crypto sequencer has all crypto keys We've got the grapnel gun and the back claw the line launcher or tightrope has both levels upgraded the battering has shock battering which is level two upgrades gel launcher we got three uh, upgrades, which is explosive, glue, and proximity. Finally, the bat suits. Armor is complete on upgrades. Gauntlet upgrades are complete, and rush upgrades are complete. If we take a look at our Blackgate map, we have administration 100% complete. We got industrial 100% complete, and we got cell blocks 100% complete. So folks, I got some bad news. The only way we can get Red Sun and New 52 is how we play the game red sun 1 million and new 52 are obtained by who is your final boss when playing this game since mine was black mask i got the 1 million suit if it was penguin or joker as my last guy i would have either gotten red sun or new 52 <sighs> this is incredibly annoying because now i can't unlock every suit and i actually really wanted red sun but you know i'm okay with 1 million it's a cool outfit just think it's really stupid that we have to do the game three times to get them. So that's pretty disappointing. I don't know what the last three are, but we'll see if we can find out. Definitely my favorite suit in the game, though, so far. The 1 million. I mean, I probably would like Red Sun more. Or maybe New 52, but, you know. 1 million's cool, too. It's just... Now I feel like I have to do, play this two more times so I can showcase the other skins. The only, the only way I won't do that is if it doesn't save over. Forget it. It's not even worth it. Like, what? Just show you guys for 10 seconds? That's stupid. We got the achievement hunting. This is just torture. All right, time to go to the lighthouse. Are you sure you want to pursue Catwoman to the lighthouse? You will be unable to return to Blackgate. Well, I guess this is the end of the road. If I want to continue unlocking achievements and stuff, I have to replay the game again. And it's not even like it's in my control. Like that's how it was programmed. Bane. Got a job on you in there. Can't you go any faster? Move it. Catwoman. Get out of here. I'll catch up. He looks so weird. You just can't get enough of me, can you? Let's get this over with. Uh-oh. Our first official boss fight. This ends here. I hope you've had your shots. We cats are delicate. Uh-oh. So you would hit a girl. What if I dislike Batman's suit when he returned from the grave makes you impervious to damage? I don't know what that means. Let's try it. So what am I? Am I immune or something? I'm immune to damage. That's so weird. Where I use my escape claws. Oh, can't I see. I get those goosebumps every time. You really are blind as a bat. Finally, I was like practically spamming it. Okay, so I have to look at her direction while pressing Y. Oh. This suit is beautiful. Over here. Now I'm over here. Hmm, where am I? Really testing our reflexes, huh? What? Bro, I pressed Y so fast. 
I don't know, all of a sudden we have timers now with squiggly lines above their head. It'll be over soon. Bro, what what even was that? Come on. She just faked bro, she's faking me out. This is such BS. This game wants us to die. Like as hard as it it is not it's not set up for someone to beat this first try. It's impossible. It'll be over soon. I, I can't stop pressing Y on the first one because it's just natural. Like, why wouldn't I try to block it when someone jumps me? If you try to counter the fake out, you automatically get hit. But if you don't counter the not, like, how do I know which one's a fake out or not? No matter what I do, I just have to take a wild guess. That's so annoying. No skill. Whoever decided to, like, put this game together, they're not a gamer. There's just no way. I don't, I don't understand this at all. Yeah, get smoked. Catwoman defeated. I'm sorry, baby. Who were you working for? Who wanted Bane? I already told you I don't know. I was hired anonymously and received my orders the same way. And you just went along with that. Let's just say I was made an offer I couldn't refuse. What if I made you an offer you couldn't refuse? Federal uh authorities, step away from him, Catwoman. I said step away. I won't say it again. Identification now. Captain Rick Flag. Knew Batman. it. Called it. Suicide Never Squad. Heard of you. Believe it or not, Batman, there are federal operations you know nothing about. Because it's better that way. We're securing the facility. Thank you for your assistance. We'll return her to custody. Captain, this entire operation was a cover to break Bane out of this cell. Now he is out there. And we grabbed him before he even made it to the docks. You saved a lot of lives tonight, Batman. You should be proud. Yo, that's sick. What a dope screenshot. Oh man, this game, I'm so conflicted. I don't know what to say. I like the idea of it. The cinematics are nice and everything. The gameplay just sucks royally. Oh my god. That was so painful, I'm sorry. That was just horrible. I want to like it more, but it just sucks, man. Nothing was easy. The simplest takedowns were a, a challenge to do. Scene? Yes. <sighs> All of Black Mask's messing with the generators freaked out the heating and cooling systems. The quick expanding and contracting of the pipes weakened them for sure. Uh. The Joker. All I want is the Joker. Let him go. Why not? He's worthless to me compared to the clown. No. What? Where? Where'd he go? I don't know. But the Joker better watch his back. So that's how he escapes. Cool. They probably connected that to Arkham City. Here it is. I was waiting for something else. Suicide Squad reference again, probably. It's gonna be Waller. Catwoman. Yeah. At least per your orders, Director. An expunged record good with of the it. secret thanks of a grateful nation. Though I don't know why we don't keep a leash on her. She didn't accomplish her primary mission. We had to give Bane back to save face. Time enough for that, Captain. I knew she set it up. Catwoman did do us a great service. And what's that, Director Waller? Leading us to those two degenerates? You see degenerates, Captain? Hey. I see soldiers. Bronze Tiger and Deadshot. Uh-huh. One step ahead, baby. Love it. I knew it, bro. I knew it. So she's got Deathstroke and those two now. Batsuit unlocked. 1960s Batman is suit uh, acquired. Take 25% less damage. Health regeneration rate is 50% faster and deal 50% more damage. Sick. Earth 2 Batsuit acquired. 25% bonus to damage dealt and 50% bonus to uh, health regeneration rate. 
even more. Thank you for playing. Oh, I love that. Now I kind of feel bad. <laughs> I feel like I was being a little too harsh, but man, it's tough. I don't know how much time it took for them to make this, but this game is tough. New game plus unlocked. Start the game over from the beginning to defeat the bosses in a different order. You can unlock new items and see new in-game movies. You lose your upgrades and game progress, but keep collecting detective cases, Batsu pieces, and gallery unlocks. Once you start New Game Plus, there's no going back. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it for Red Sun Batman and New 52 Batman. Alright, we have almost every single Batsu. Let's start with uh, Origins. The basic Batsu providing minimal protection and offensive capabilities. Cool. Red Sun. We will unlock Red Sun because apparently we got New Game Plus and these all carry over. Except, uh... Upgrades, I guess, don't carry over in case files, but that's okay. We don't need to do all that again. 1 million. Batman's suit in the 853rd century take 25% less damage. Earth 2. Heck yeah. Batman's suit from Earth 2. 25% bonus to damage dealt and 50% bonus to health regeneration rate. Zero year. Batman's early suit in the new 52. I love this one. I think this is one of my favorite looks. Blackest Night. Batman's suit when he returns from the grave makes you impervious to damage. So basically, this is... You can't die with this on. New 52. We'll have to play another game for that too. We have a mystery Batman. I wonder who that could be. 1960s Batman Adam West. Batman's suit from the classic TV series. Take 25% less damage. Health regeneration rate is 50% faster and deal 50% more damage. I love it. And finally, Beware the Batman. Reduces damage from bullets by 50%. So here's Earth 2. Looks really good in this game. I think I'd main this in the next playthrough maybe. Wow, that looks nice. And then we have 1960s which looks beautiful as well. Oh my god, this is... I'm gonna have to use this one instead. Love it. Beautiful. Adam West. Is this Adam West? This is Adam West, right? Yeah. Alright, so first playthrough of this, uh, I took a black mask last. This time we're taking him out first. Oof. So see, we got a new uh, line of dialogue because I defeated Black Mask last. Before it would have been, who's next, Black Mask or Joker, you know? Alright, Joker boss fight. We got him in the middle again. So, on our final playthrough, he'll be our final uh, villain to go through, our final boss. Great. All that's left is Penguin. Special Penguin dialogue right there. Alright, here we go, final boss. You'll have to go through me. Well, that does sound tempting, but I think I'd rather just walk on out with no problem. And that's what you're going to let me do. Oh, am I? That Penguin, he loves to make deals. And he hates you. Special dialogue. He gave me some of his hostages and I strapped bombs to them and plopped them down all over Blackgate. This is all okay. special. So we did this with Black Mask, except his was just like boxes. This one's These ones actually have prisoner hostages tied up, you know? Alright, there's our first hostage. We have one minute to save him. There's no bomb this time. Interesting. Okay. Now remember, we can't stealth these guys for some reason. I think we have to just... The only way, the only way we can kill them is with a, the grapple gun for some reason or backlaw. Which will like yank on them, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Okay, there he goes. All right, there we go. Thanks, Batman. One out of five saved. Cool. The final box should be. A clothing for New 52, I believe it is. Alrighty, here's our second penguin hostage. Let's get her done. Let's get that suit, baby. If we make it out of this, first thing I'm gonna do is call my mom. That's what the last guy said. Sweet. Batman. All right, here's a third hostage. Really easy one, I mean. Wow. Thanks, Batman. Two to go. All right, here's our fourth hostage situation. We make it out of this? First thing I'm gonna do is call my mom. No calls we made tonight, man. Thanks, Batman. Don't thank me, thank the good Lord. All right. 
One more to go, thank god. Okay, final penguin hostage situation. Let's do it. I guess we have to go over here because the dead right there. They see you so easily, so I'm just gonna really be careful with this one. Alright. Got him. I'll look him up here too. Alright. We'd rather get Red Sun or New 52. I think it's New 52. Let's do it. Thanks, Batman. Alright, we got right, achievement. Woman, your turn. Rescued all penguin hostages. Docks. So leaves us with three achievements left. We should get one right now if we open this chest and get new 52 red sun. There it is, new 52 belt found. Let's go. That's to complete. Alright, let's take a look. There it is. Beautiful. Deal 25% more damage. Here is the new 52 bat suit. Heck yeah. This whole playthrough took me maybe three hours, three or four hours, I'd say. And uh, yeah, this is the suit we get out of it. I mean, I guess it's worth a couple hours of playing. Especially since this is a whole entire playthrough, it only took three hours or so, three or four hours. And that that's not including any side quests, just pure storyline. All right, Penguin special cutscene. God. As long as I'm paying you, I'll speak to you however I please, fool. <laughs> yeah. Now, did you bring what I requested from the prison of belongings lockup? Oh, there's a P on the back of his head. Well, at least you've done one thing right today. You know, I thought it'd be easier to run my empire from in here than outside when a bat could interfere. Oh, well, I have many bases of operation in this city. How many men do we have? 120 outside. 12 in here. Not bad. Not too shabby. I think you mean 11. Jesus. And hopefully, they won't have as much trouble taking orders as you did. Alright, so Penguin is freed from Blackgate. There it is, along with Black Mask as well. Crazy. Alright, so we have one more to go through, and that's Joker. The final playthrough will feature Joker as our final boss. We will do his hostage slash bomb situation, and we will unlock the Red Sun suit, which 100% completes the game for us. So apparently I defeated Grenny by using the puddle of water and electricity, which is like a secret way of defeating him. But the natural way is you're supposed to use these little wires right here to electrocute him. So let's see what, if there's like a different animation or something. Oh, didn't work well. Oh, I did it. I don't know what I did, but I guess it works. I'm coming, Grundy. Oh, my bad. I think in the other games you have to like cape swing him. Oh, look, he got knocked out in a different position now. <laughs> the first time he got knocked on this side from the water shocking him. So I guess we did it the secret way the first time. Cool. All right, this is where we hit 100 score. One dead. This is it, this is it. Here we go. Final stretch. Last guy right here. We did it, we did it. Let's go! League of Shadows achievement unlocked. Oh, we hit it out of the ballpark. 118. Perfect. Perfect combo. Didn't lose it at all. There's a special dialogue. Alright, now I just need to get Joker, take out whatever hostage bomb situation he's got. I should get Red Sun Batman and we'll be done. Alright, final boss Joker. Let's do this. Final playthrough. You'll have to go through me. Hmm. As much as I'd like to. The truth is, you're going to just let me tippy-toe out of here with my skinny friend. 
How do you figure? Well, it turns out Joker's not such a bad guy. Special dialogue. To know him. He gave me a bunch of presents, and I put little bombs in them and left them all over the prison for you to find. That's cool. Could That's the best one so far. You can stay here and chat all day, or you can get moving. All right, Joker presents. That's our final uh, achievement slash side quest slash secret dialogue thingy. So we had hostages for Penguin, right? Black Mask had those boxes of bombs, and I guess Joker has presents. All right, here's our first Joker bomb slash present he's got for us giant gift box left by the joker a soft ticking sound can be heard from the attached crypto panel okay so we have to disable it before it goes off got it 20 seconds oh wow this is cool definitely my favorite uh diffusing thing we've had to do out of the three of them all right we're back to where we fought bronze tiger at and it looks like we got our second present here let's go ahead and fuse it 20 seconds again I love the little color scheme of the Joker's colors, it's cool. 20 seconds should be plenty, I don't think it's taking me over 20 ever to defuse these things. Yeah, there we go. Alright, there's our third present. Really weird spot for it, but alright, let's do it. 39, uh, let's see here. 39, there we go. That's three down. Alrighty, present number four should be right there. Yep. Let's do it. Mm, this one. Oh, pretty close. It's this one. So easy and satisfying. Alright, we found the final box. I'm really nervous because I'm going to get Redson after this, but I am going to get the uh, achievement for doing the presents from Joker. I'm just worried I might not get the full achievement for completing every like thing in the game and i'm scared i'm about to do some of them in this playthrough we'll see what happens though here we go <laughs> right now if we make this right now i would have completed this game in less than a week which is kind of crazy or we might just blow up right now because i can't find the stupid bomb code uh here it is one second left that's crazy Alright, I got my achievement for defusing all the Joker presents. I open this, I get Red Sun, and I should get the collector achievement for like collecting everything in the game. And if I don't, that means I have to get all the Joker teeth, all the penguin cages, and all the armor upgrades. Not the detective cases, just those two things I mentioned. And it'll suck, but you know. Come on, God. Oh. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Oh! Dark Knight Returns Bat Suit Acquired. Oh. My. First things first. Red Sun Batman. We got him. Batman Cough Suit from Red Sun. Uh, improves health regeneration rate 50%. This looks beautiful. Thank God we did it. I think it's... Wow, okay. And then, excuse me? What was our secret suit final? Dark Knight Returns? Ooh! I thought it was going to be the movie The Dark Knight. That's you from The Dark Knight Returns. Oh, it is? Or is, this a, is there a Dark Knight Returns like TV series or something? Because that's definitely not it. 50% bonus uh, to damage. Uh... Dell and makes you impervious to damp what so it's the dark it's it's basically this suit but with 50 plus damage so you can't take damage and you do 50 more damage dude this is an alpha suit right here that is crazy it looks like bat fleck oh my god i'm so happy we got every suit in the game and we got all the achievements i've done everything i've could in this game ah <sighs> man what a relief Yes, sir. 30 out of 30 achievements took me 30 hours to do that. To be fair, I left my game on for hours at a time. So I would say 20-ish hours overall. Oh, man, this is so... You don't understand how satisfying this is. This is it, folks. We we fully did it. We got another playthrough out of the way. Let's just uh do a couple more things now. Oh, no, that's Dark Knight Rises. Okay, so what's the Dark Knight Returns from? It's a comic or something, right? That is so freaking cool looking. Wow. Look at that. Look how mad he looks. 
Okay, this is a perfect time to look at them. Alright, here's Arkham Origins, which looks beautiful. I mean, this is one of the best bat suits I've seen. Red Sun looks really nice. Love it. One million. Beautiful. It looks really clean. Super happy I got this one. Earth 2, of course, looks pristine. Lovely colors. Zero Year. Love the purple gloves. Love how it pops. Very Halloween-ish. Blackest Night. This is the one I use the most, and it's sick. I mean, it's a Black Lantern Batman. I mean, it's self-explanatory. New 52, one of my favorite looks for Batman. Look how muscular he looks, and the colors pop perfectly. Dark Knight Returns, perhaps my favorite suit in this game. I mean, just look. It's literally Ben Affleck. It's literally Ben Affleck. It looks just like him. I'm, there's no other way around it. Colors are really nice, really gray with the dark cape and cowl. Looks mean, looks insanely muscular. Love it. Perfect. 1960s Batman. Good old Adam West. Can never go wrong with that. Bright blue and poppin' yellows. And finally, Beware the Bat. And I don't know how I got these. I just started off the game with them, so I'm assuming they're DLC because I got Deluxe Edition. Uh, this one, probably my least favorite, but it's still super fun. Looks really cool. I mean, look at this picture. That looks freaking awesome, dude. I'm fangirling over that. Oh my god, I wish I had this the entire playthrough. I would have... this. This game just got points just for the bat suits alone. Oh my god, I can't get over this. Oh my god. All right, let's check out the Joker cutscene real quick. There it is. Oh, nice. I love it. This guy is practically a rutabaga. Look at him. What the heck? What? Such a generous god giving me the shirt off his back. What a sick little animation. Who's this? All clear back there. Oh. Wow. <laughs> so looks like Joker, Penguin, and Black Mask all escape Blackgate. Hi, it's Alekos here, and it is currently about to be February 2024. Unfortunately, this series got pushed back for me, but I have finally wrapped it up. But the very last thing we're going to do is actually go over the concept gallery. Blackgate. Joker Thugs. Main Corridor. Beneath the Prison. Penguin Thugs Heavy. Black Mask Thugs. To the Death. Cell blocks. Last man standing. Holding cells. Tower guard. Bronze tiger. Bat claw. Chasing the cat. Prisoner entry. Penguin thugs. To the weapons vault. Predator mode. This is our Arkham Origins Black Ace series. Next on the list is freaking Arkham Asylum. I'm so excited. I'll catch you guys in. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.